Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. Alex and I out at the range today. Gonna do something a little different. We've got the four main European battle rifles from World War II. We're gonna play around. Stay tuned. We plan to do this video a little closer to Memorial Day, but we do have D-Day coming up, so it's still appropriate. Uh, you know, nothing scientific going on here. Alex is a collector of World War II guns. He's got the four main European battle rifles, and we got to talking about what that would be like in the hands of a couple of modern day gun nerds, and I uh, figured, why not find out? So we've devised, mostly Alex has devised a little shooting test for us here. Uh, we're at about 30 yards. We've got uh, some three man size silhouette targets that we're going to shoot at. And we've got some two liter bottles uh, filled with water to simulate a little further shot. And we're going to shoot, what, uh, 15 rounds? 12 rounds. 12 rounds. So each rifle will we'll have to do at least one reload. One reload. Uh, so run down, we've got four rifles. What are they? Uh, we have a, uh, for the American side, the M1 Garand. Uh, it's a 1945 production. It is a World War II production rifle. Probably mm -hmm. didn't see service until the Korean War, but it is a World War II production rifle. Awesome. Uh, for our British Commonwealth Forces, we have the Lee Enfield Number no. 4 Mark I Star. Uh, it was an early and mid-war production rifle. Uh, they, they, they were kind of, you know, cheapening things and trying to make them a little faster to produce, but it's still a very accurate and capable rifle. Chambered in? 303 British. Okay. Uh, we have a 1940 uh, German Carabiner 98K uh, Mauser rifle, an 8mm nice. Mauser. Nice. Um, it, it was the, the main German service rifle throughout the war. Uh, there, there were some potential rifles that, that would have, you know, replaced it if, if the war had, had gone on, and, and some other rifles that saw service, but, but the Carabiner 98 Kurs, you know, made, was, was the German service rifle through the majority of the war. Cool. Uh, and then lastly, for the Russian side, we have a, uh, I, I think it's a 1942 uh, Ismash um, Mosin Nagant M9130. That's in great shape, um, too. So, you know, there were other Mosin Nagants that were used during the war, the M91, uh, the M44, the M38, but these were used in, in the largest numbers, so that's that's the one I wanted to bring out today. Cool, and so we've got, uh, you've got one semi-auto in the, uh, in the, Grand and the rest are all bolt action. Bolt action. Mm -hmm. All right, this could be crazy. So I think we're gonna we're gonna shoot, and it, when we do the mag change, we're gonna drop to a knee, do the mag change, and then finish shooting from a knee, and um, which should be pretty entertaining to watch me get up and down off the ground. <laughs> all right, man, we're gonna do it. Let's do it. So Wes doesn't get to pick which one he wants to do first. I'm gonna take all four cartridges, put them in my hat here. And he's going to blindly pick one out. Oh, no. What do we got? 8 millimeter Mauser. Oh, nice. Thump, All thump. right. <clears throat> he promised not to make me do push-ups. <laughs> I haven't had to do anything in a rush in a very long time, so this could get really interesting. My big hope is that I hit the dirt pile. Okay. This is a shortened Mauser Model 98. A um, couple notable features. You know, it's a bolt action. Um, your safety is here. Now that is safe. All right. All the way to the right is safe. Completely disengages the trigger. This, it also locks the bolt. Okay. So the middle position is safe as well, but, but allows you to cycle the bolt. Okay. And the left position where you can see the serial number is fire. So how do we think they carried it? Um, being with the safety, is easy enough to operate on this rifle, and the safety in the full position keeps the action locked where it wouldn't get bumped on anything to, to cycle the rifle. I would imagine that this rifle would be carried fully loaded with a round in the chamber in, in potential combat conditions, you know, if, 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 if there was a chance that they would see combat. Uh -huh. Loaded, bolt closed on a live round with the safety on. Okay, um, so all these things are things you y'all can jump in and comment on if you have uh, historical context, we'd love to hear it. Uh, I, I, I did a lot of research leading up to this video and I couldn't find anything other than, than some anecdotal references to saying, you know, my, my, uh, 
my great grandfather Gustav did not carry his rifle in the war with any rounds in it, and uh, you know, so on and so forth. Yeah. But nothing, nothing official. No, no official military training or, or okay. doctrine on it. Um, other things like cleaning the rifle, we won't really get into that now. Um, but uh, to load this rifle, all these rifles were fed with clips. This is a clip. Um, you know, you hear clip versus magazine. magazine. This is an actual clip. The magazine is inside the rifle. It's not detachable on this. Um, so these, the, there would of course be rounds on this, but you've got a stripper clip guide right here. You're going to stick the stripper clip down in, push on the top round. I find it sweat be helpful to put your the your finger on on the top of the round and push it down through. You're right-handed, so you're going to be holding the rifle. Like this. He just, he, he just gun blocked me. You see that? So, hold on. There is a cutout here to protect your thumb. Uh, okay. It's, it's, it's good that we started with this one because you're not going to have that favor with the Mosin. <laughs> the Mosin will tear your thumbnail off. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah. So, you're going to push on the top round, push down all the way until your last round goes into the magazine. You don't, you don't want to leave any, any rounds hanging free. Okay. Um, you'll find that this is another nice feature of the Mauser. The Mauser, you don't have to manually pull out the stripper clip. You can put, you can close the bolt, and it'll automatically eject the clip out. The okay, top, well, which is a nice. I like piece. that. Yeah. So other than that, you know how to use the bolt action. Sure. Um, I think you're ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Sounds good. Verbox ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll do it every time. Ninety-eight point four three. Some miles are ninety-eight. Ninety-eight seconds. That's fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, the first time I went to go run the stripper, I forgot to put it in the guide, and so that just buggered that all up. Um, getting used to the sights on these older rifles. I, you know, I don't shoot a lot of open sights, but I shoot a lot of red dots and stuff these days. And uh, so we're gonna find out how I hit here in a second. But like I, I only hit one of the bottles, that kind of thing. Um, you hit two. You hit you hit one at the top. Oh, did I? Yeah, he had a slow bleeding head wound. You might have nicked him or something. Oh, cool. Well, we'll go look at that. Um, a what couple things think? that yeah. I noticed: um, those 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 two failure two ejects. Uh -huh. That was not the rifle. You have to pull the bolt strongly all the sure way. Sure, stroked rear. it. Yep, that's it. And that's 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 something to, that's easy to do with those old rifles. Yeah. You know, they weren't they. It's not a fine hunting rifle. They weren't. You know, you don't you don't ease that bolt back and. And your shell shucks out. You yeah. really yank yeah. it back. So honestly, folks, first time I've ever tried that with a bolt-action rifle. I've done with semi-autos, you know. Uh, certainly done it with an AR-15 or an M16, that kind of thing. But uh, that's exhilarating because you got to work that bolt and doing all that. <coughs> I don't know how those guys did it. <laughs> Let's go take a look at the targets and, and see how I hit. It's, yep. That was my headshot. That, that was the headshot. Two body shots. He's better than Julius Caesar. But.
there's your through and through right there. Oh yeah, so I did hit the bottle. I just didn't get any uh, any explosion out of it. This one was a headshot. We got one headshot on that center mass. And being that it was eight millimeter eight millimeter Mauser, that that would have put him out of the fight. Yeah. You know, he'd have been a uh, he'd have been a casualty. One less kidney. Shoot him in the these kidney. rounds, you know, that's that's another thing with these rounds is, you know, the the it's not five five six. I mean, it's a full power battle rifle cartridge. You know, if it hits something, it's going to tear it up. Well, that was a good hit. Yep, I'm pretty pleased with that. This mm. one, uh, he's really scared. He's retreating. But run. And then this one, two center See, I've, punches. Yeah, I was starting to get the feel for it here. But a lot of that is is the range. I mean, these these rifles, most of them, the battle the. Battlefield Zero is 200 to 300 yards yeah. is what they're zeroed for. So they're not going to hit quite the same at, at 25 or 30 yards. Well, what you think of that? Huh? It's not bad. Uh, that 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 was fairly new to my collection. That's the first time I've I've done any of that, uh, you know, combat shooting with it. I've done it with most of the other rifles I have, but not with that one yet. Um, it wasn't bad. It is a smooth action, a smooth bolt. That's nice. The safety is easy to operate. Um, I did screw up the second stripper clip feeding, but it's just it's a tough thing to do unless you're doing it all the time. But uh, I, I felt think, confident about my hits. I think I, think I might got have knocked the down the second bottle instead of hitting it, or the yeah. third bottle instead of hitting it. But um, oh yeah, good headshot. What was my time, by the way? I didn't look. And the bottle, of course. Yeah. Water was coming out of that. Might have nicked it. Yeah, you nicked yeah it. I nicked it. I did. It does look like I did hit the second bottle. It just didn't bleed until it hit the ground. There's nothing, nothing. Oh wait, unless this one is full. No, that's it. I did hit the second. Or the yeah, third bottle. You, you got it. Oh, this headshot's a little squirrely, but. Yeah.